Here we have a F-350 diesel. This vehicle was brought in with a significant reverse delay. A um, couple things that can cause reverse delay and delayed engagements on these uh, Far 100s is uh, you know the transmission pump. Uh, that can cause uh, a delay if there's any excessive clearance here between the, uh, the the rotor assembly and housing. This pump does look good. Clearance looks to be okay. We measured it. Uh, transmission has some good parts in it. Billet input shaft. It's got a different billet drum. Uh, <clears throat> so it definitely looks like it's got the right components. It's got a Suncoast uh, triple disc converter. Uh, it looks to be a new solenoid pack. Uh, some of the things that we see with it that are <clears throat> kind of odd um, this is the, the uh, direct clutch drum, and this is a intermediate diode. These diodes are very, very problematic. In fact, there's a technical service bulletin from Automatic Transmission Service Group <clears throat> that says that this drum should be replaced with the earlier Sprague style drum. Ford had this for a little while, and then they went away with it, went away from it. Uh, this is the center support. Now, on the center support, this is what feeds several of the clutch drums, uh, both direct and forward. Now, there's supposed to be a gasket between this and the center support itself, and that's how it feeds these two clutch cylinders, but the gasket was not there. Here's what the gasket looks like. Uh, that, can that can create a, a hydraulic leak inside the unit. And one of the other things that we see, uh, this unit was supposed to have had a, a tugger kit in it. Now, the tugger kit uses a, a plate uh, basically, it's calibration plate goes between the accumulator body and the uh, and the, the other separator plate there, and that's how you can really uh, tailor and tune the transmission. That plate was missing, and according to uh, Transgo, uh, they said that that would create a, a significant uh, engagement delay in reverse. So, uh, looks like we got a lot of good parts in this, but you know, uh, some of the somewhat elementary uh, components that need to be replaced. Uh, this this drum will be replaced with a Sprague style drum. Uh, obviously, this gasket uh, will be installed. You see, there's a new gasket here. This gasket will be installed on the center support and also the uh, <coughs> the tugger kit. If uh, you know, uh, if it was in fact in there, uh, will be uh, will be changed, and we have to put that uh, that that separator plate there, that accumulator body plate. And you see, this gives you some ability to customize the shift feel. Uh, once this thing's uh, reassembled, we should be uh, should be in good shape. Should be able to tighten up that reverse uh, engagement delay.